Right. Big up, everybody. We're back. Hit the like button. Subscribe. All of that shit. And why everyone, what's the big deal? What's everyone crying about? What's everyone moaning about in the chat? Can't be about anything that serious, can it? Ugh. Right. It must be about the match day. Must be because we're facing Newcastle in a must-win game tomorrow at Stamford Bridge. Our, our best opportunity uh, at winning a trophy. Our best opportunity at getting into Europe. That, that must be the reason why everyone's moaning, why everyone's having such a, such a bitch fit in the comments section. I was like, that's got to be it. That's got to be it. No! No! Ah! Oh, we're crying about Gallagher! We're crying about Conor Gallagher! Ah. Oh. Fucking hell, man, to talk about falling off. Every week I get another reminder about how far we've fallen as an institution. When we're now here crying over Conor Gallagher because he might be leaving. Oh, well, whoop de doo what, Did we not expect this over the summer? Did we not think that this was going to happen anyway? Unless there was brazy improvements. What, or what have I seen? Like a, a drop of technical ability? And, and now that's the reason for the whole timeline to be in discussion over, should we sell Conor Gallagher? What, what example does this show to all the Cobham Academy graduates? What example does that show? They need to have someone that they can believe in. Somebody that can show, yeah, I can get into the first team. I can get into the first team. I can be very successful at Chelsea Football Club. And if Conor Gallagher leaves, there's just nobody in the team. There's nobody in the team that those academy players can look up to and say, you know what? I, I saw this guy go through Cobham. I saw this guy go straight to the top and become an elite player. It's not gonna. That's not gonna happen if, if we sell Conor Gallagher, though. That's not. That's not gonna happen. All those academy players are just gonna think, ah, oh, but well, we're never gonna make it at Chelsea, are we? But we're never gonna make it at this football club. Yeah, sure. Sure, whatever, man. Whatever. Big up to everybody that's in here. Hit the like button, subscribe, all of that shit. We're going to discuss this whole Conor Gallagher situation. Preview the Newcastle Chelsea game as well. And yeah, we'll, we'll see what everyone's saying. We'll see what everybody's saying. Big up to everybody that's locked in. And yeah, let's, let's start off with the most unsurprising transfer news. Most unsurprising news that we are going to try and sell Conor Gallagher again. Didn't see this one coming, did I? None, none of us saw this coming. It weren't like we actively tried to get rid of him throughout the summer. It's not like he's, he still hasn't signed the new contract. It's not like that still hasn't happened. And we don't have 18 months left on, on his contract. Uh, with his price just about to drop as well. And it will continue to drop the closer it gets to 12 months and to six months, as you guys already know how it works. But yeah, Chelsea are prepared to listen to bids for Conor Gallagher in January. And this has sent the timeline into uproar because we didn't know that. We didn't know that. No way. We're, we're going to try and sell Conor Gallagher. I never knew that. That's crazy. That's insane. I, I don't get it. I really don't get it. Where the fuck has our standards gone that the, the biggest discourse of the day is, should we be selling Conor Gallagher? Should, should we be letting him go? And then everyone talks about it because they want to praise his fight and his tenacity and his pressing and, and his work rate and his various other off-the-ball attributes. Again, we, we do not do track running over here. We, we do football. We do football. So uh, bring me some on the ball attributes. Let's all talk about, oh, he's our player of the season. Stop it, man. He, he's our most improved player. If you want that, go for it. Like I'm not going to argue against it. But if our player of the season is anybody but Cole Palmer, it's insane. It is genuinely insane. This guy was literally mid against Villa, Bournemouth, Burnley, Brentford, Newcastle, Brighton, Sheffield United. But I'm hearing player of the season shouts. Get in the bin, man. Get in the bin. We've already spoken about the precedent that it sets to academy players. And seriously, like, 
Dude, everyone loves to talk about the Roman era and the standards of the Roman era, but when I tell you that we use the academy in the exact same way in the Roman era, suddenly they don't want to talk. Suddenly they don't want to talk. Like, Roman consistently used the academy like this. But, but God forbid our owners do that. God forbid we do the exact same thing and only keep the elite of the elite, which is the exact same thing that we did before. Like, c come on, man. When, when the fuck do you see a starting eleven winning the league with a bunch of youth players except what? The class of 92? Like, I'm going to go through some of the top six teams now. If you look at Man City, Phil Foden might start, might not start. Rico Lewis might start, might not start. And Oscar Bob don't start. For Arsenal, only Saka starts for Arsenal. And Ketty is shit. Nelson is shit. And Smith Rowe is an injury croc. Liverpool, um, they've got Trent. Got a few depth players like Jones, Elliot, Bajetic, and Kelleher, but none of them start in their best team at all. United, they all have just a bag of mid. Rashford, McTominay. Evans, Garnacho, Evans they brought back at 35 years of age, by the way. Hannibal and Mino. Mino has only had two, two free games for them. Two free games. Our only top tier grads that we brought up were obviously John Terry. But that was before Roman. Um, Courtois, Christensen and Reese James. That's it. Stop acting like if, if a grad gets a certain amount of game time, we have to bend over backwards for that. Like, Gallagher, to me, has always been a squad player, and that's it. Just the squad player. But if someone is just a squad player in my eyes, sorry, I don't care if they leave. I don't care. Oh, so Courtois weren't even a grad. We can't even claim him. So there's two. There, there is Christensen, there's James. You may, maybe if you really want to push Loftus Cheek in there, you, you can do, but even he was just a squad player for us after 1920. Let's call it what it is. This tells me that the board doesn't rate Poch like that. I don't rate Poch like that. I don't rate Poch like that, and that's fine. I don't care whether he wants to sign an eight year deal or not. Like, that's completely different because part of me believes he does want to sign an eight year deal. I'd be very surprised if he didn't, even though reports are saying otherwise. But... We will see what a few others are saying. Christensen arrived from Bromby, but it was at a young age, so it does technically still count as Cobham. So we're claiming AC. AC is Cobham. He's our guy. He's our guy. He ain't Bromby's. He ain't Bromby's. But yeah, um, selling selling Connor Gallagher isn't that deep. Just get me the money I want. Get 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 us the fifty million, fifty five million, something around that that bracket, and just bin. Just get rid. Get rid. He's been okay for us. He's improved, but it is not that deep. And if we're talking about a team that goes for a Premier League title, Conor Gallagher is not in that team. He is not starting. He is not starting. So if he's not starting, why do we care? I know some people talk about some of the players that we've signed. They've not been in the Premier League for three years. So they're not, in, they're not experienced. They're not experienced enough. Gallagher has been in the Premier League for three seasons. He's not good enough. He's not good enough. He hasn't been good enough for us. He has improved. He's not the same bum that I've seen from last season. That's fair enough. But to me, he's still not good enough to start. The level has gone, the bar with Gallagher has gone from here to like here. Whoop de doo. Whoop de doo. It is not that deep to be having this discourse and see all the crying that I've seen on the timeline about what precedent does it set to our academy players. Dickhead Reese James is literally right there. Reese James has the whole of Chelsea at his feet as long as he can stay fit. There's the guy that you want to aspire to be like. Be like Reese. I don't want my academy graduates aspiring to be like Gallagher. Like, come the fuck on. Come the fuck on. I'm good. Get me my 55 million, 60 million. And go bring somebody else. Because we're already saying that we wanted to go bring a midfielder anyway. So go bring in a midfielder. This is straight profit on the books. Then go get 55, 60 million and head off. Head off. Simple as that. 
and said your best player this season. Man, he said typical Chelsea fan. So you've just told me that you're a rival fan, and I'm going to assume you don't watch my football club enough. So get out of it. And talking about selling him for the next new shiny toy, it'll probably be better. Man, acting like Conor Gallagher has been unbelievable this season. It's ridiculous. I've named about seven games already that the guy has been mid. He's been fucking mid. It is genuinely insane. I believe that the anger is selling Gallagher to purchase unproven potential players. Well, how, how about you wait until you see who's coming in before we make that claim? Your whole team's... Okay, so why are you flexing Gallagher then? You you just disproved your whole dead point. Like, oh, I can't be arsed, bruv. Yeah, mid. Mid. I totally agree. Mid. That's it. That's why I don't get why people are crying so much about this. It's fucking insane. It is genuinely insane. I haven't seen enough of the pod. I haven't seen enough of the pod. No, Gallagher's not even unproven. He's been in the Premier League for three years. He's just not good enough. He's just not good enough. That's it. That's it. Once Nkuku and Lavia come back, who do you think is getting dropped for him? So he was going to be a squad player anyway. So if he weren't going to be fucking playing for us week in and week out, who cares? Who cares? Get me my money and bring me somebody that I will genuinely think I'll watch and say, he might start for me. He's good enough that he can play week in and week out. I don't see that with Gallagher. I don't see that. Don't see that at all. But yeah, um, if you're crying about Conor Gallagher, hold that. If you're not crying about Conor Gallagher, fair enough. I appreciate the fact that you're being a little bit more level-headed, whether you want to keep him or sell him. But people acting like it's the end of the world if we lose Gallagher is just insane. It's just fucking insane. Um, just to confirm something, is the review on the review will probably be Tuesday night. Probably be Tuesday night. Maybe we'll do a day after review on Wednesday. I'll figure it out. But I'm gonna try and head back after the game and do an instant review after that. Something to just enjoy, celebrate, or just cry. Just cry. Gallagher tears gonna end up being a ooh, ooh. Why can't this guy get his point across without being a bellend? Because I am a bellend. That's why. I'm a massive bellend. You can hold that. You can hold that. If you don't like my opinions, there's two things you can do about it. Nothing and like it. So hold that. Hold that. Um, Lewis Potch spoke in the press today about how our fans complain about squad rotation. And he said players come to him and say they can play. But if they don't perform, they lie and say they are tired. What? Players come to him and say that they can play. But if they don't perform, they lie and say they're tired. It's one game a week. Players shouldn't be whining about being tired anyway. Shouldn't be whining. Uh, Kai Havertz prop. That's a timeout. Come on, guys. you got to understand the rules of this channel. Any Kai Havertz prop. Unless he has scored in a hate along, we're not listening. We're not listening. We're not listening to none of that. Uh, if you want a functioning team to see progression, you do not take away key players to manage a race. Fair enough, but you also play players in their better position. You also show decent game management. If this ownership don't rate Pochettino, then fair enough, because I don't rate Pochettino. So, I don't see it. I don't rate Poch, I don't rate Gallagher. So, it, it doesn't really hit that way for me. 